Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Path of Rage. Today we are going to jump into an extra episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries this week. It is the Thursday video. The Thursday is... Thursday video is going to, like I've said before, kind of be the... What am I playing that day? You know, maybe a gaming potluck. There we go. That's it. Thursday is now ha ha has a theme. It is going to be gaming potluck. I have spoken. It shall be so. All right, so we're going to jump in. We have to continue on with the Free Worlds League Enemy of My Enemy uh, campaign mission. We have to do some repairs, as I recall. Yes. Nobody lost anything. Yeah, barely took any damage at all. Oh, my chain cannons. Yes. That was so nice to get those guys. Oh, oh I love chain cannons. Oh, hey. Right on. Okay. Oh, crap. What the hell is the name of this, actually? It just says SFM. We're going to build one of these. I've got this in my other playthrough. This is a really nice mech. It's a um, 75-ton laser boat, just like the Dark... Uh, excuse me, the Black Knight. It's a really good mech, actually. We will assemble that. 1.6 million Seabills. We're going to put the Clint into cold storage for now. Oh, the engine's destroyed. Are we in a... No, we're not. Excuse me. Flashman. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, you can just load this dude up with nine lasers and just melt things. Plus it comes with AMS. I mean granted it's the ammo's destroyed, but still for the most part. Ninety one days and almost three million C bills just for the repairs. Yeah. We're gonna wait for an industrial hub for this folks. <laughs> Let us continue on with our missions. How do we do our repairs? Yes. Okay. Oh, actually, I still want to check ammo. There's no weapons I want. No? Okay. I, I still want to check ammo in case we come across um, chain cannon double bins. So, here we go. Next mission. And an exploration quest, too. Oh, and we are gonna do this. Bow and arrow. This quest, I think, is three or four missions long. I think four. And at the end of it, you get the Agincourt Hero Archer Mech. And that thing is glorious to load up with nothing but SRMs and just watch it annihilate things in single or double shots. So, we'll accept that, we'll accept that, but we will go back to the one we were doing. Oh, we are in a new area. Check the ammo. Scrap pile huge. I'm going to end up trying a scrap gun out at some point. I'll buy three of them. I might as well buy some thumper ammo. I think I've got a thumper on my cataphract. Pirate ammo. I do like the pirate stuff. It's slightly more rounds. It's the same weight as a double bin of ammo, but it's also smaller slaughter. I think it has a greater explosion chance, but I like them. Ooh, UAV drone. We'll take a couple of those. Uh, later on when we get um, an arrow in one of our squads, that UAV drone is, is gold. Okay. All right, end of the mission. Enemy of my enemy. 
And we are going to go for all the salvage and a little bit of money. Oh! What? CC ammo has missing requirement. Conflicting equipment. CC ammo and CC ammo. Do... Do you guys remember that being there in the last run? Because I don't. I don't recall there being red flags, or did I just not notice it? I, I guess we'll jump into the mission and uh, and see. We're going to paint this to all the mechs, because now we have Black Knight. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... We're going to see here, folks. We can take a better mech if we want. Uh... No, you know what? This is this is a good squad. This is a good squad. That those red conflict markers bother me. I haven't updated the mod since the last video. I don't know why that's there. Yeah, we're working. Okay. All right. So just got to defend. That's really weird. I know when I'm done uh, recording this episode, I'm going to have to go back and, and double check the prior episode to see if that was the case. And I just didn't notice it. Welcome, Commander. Be advised, hostile forces have been dispatched and are en route to our location. Hostile forces just crossed the perimeter, Commander. They're heading your way. You know, our cooling is actually really awesome. I might be able to drop another heat sink on this and get another bit of ammo for the chain cannons. That that might be in my best interests. I mean, they're just gross. <laughs> Excuse me. Additional hostiles have been dispatched. They're heading your way. You can probably hear it in my voice a little bit. I got a bit of a cold going on right now. Here we go. Twenty three attackers total. There you go. New target. Look. Focus target updated. So fast up a target. Heading back to bank. Target acquired. Oh my god, it's another chain cannon mech. Yeah, give me some more. Give me some more. There we go. If I took him out by the legs, I should be able to salvage more chain cannons. Oh. The idea of multiple mechs with chain cannons makes me happy. And at the very least, we might get some more ammo. Incoming on your position. I mean, look at my uh, paper doll, too. Like, I'm not taking that much damage. Just a little bit. And I'm being very aggressive with this right now.
and then later on, uh, further down the road in the timeline, when we get a hold of rotary auto cannons, the racks, oh. It's such an epic level of destruction. Okay, just under halfway there. I'm surprised we haven't had any flyers come in yet. Orion. Longbow! Oh, I would take a longbow. Yeah, let's go for his legs. Perimeter has been breached. Hostiles on the approach. Hostiles just took out that storehouse. Oh, I mean, my god. Oh, there were two longbows. Jeez. Dropship coming in on my head. You know what? Maybe I don't need more ammo. I still got loads, and I've basically been holding mouse one this entire game. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm probably going to be good with the ammo. But man, if we could salvage another couple of, level, especially level 5 chain cannons, and put them on another mech, or at the very least we'd have them for um, uh, replacing when these inevitably get destroyed. It's one thing I found in this playthrough that we're having together, and then my own playthrough when I just want to chill. Chain cannons are hard to come by. They're they're a rare commodity. I'm gonna get behind all of these guys. Oh, there we go. There's another one. The guy had no idea what hit him. Target destroyed. I can't target that. That was gross. Shared targets identified. Whoa! Target destroyed. New target, Victor. Coordinating our attack. Target acquired. I want to go after the Victor so I can leg him. Whoa! Uh, so I can leg him and possibly get more salvage. Oh no! I lost an arm! Oh my goodness, there's two annihilators coming. I lost an arm and a chain cannon. Oh. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. These are 100 ton mechs, too. I'm going to let my guys go in. You know what? At this point, I might take over the Black Knight. New target, Annihilator. Go for the headshot. Almost got it. There's one headshot. There we go. Good work, Commander. You've made a real difference today. 
No, I have to hope that there's chain cannons to salvage. Balls. That's what I get for getting greedy. There is just something to be said, though, for just holding mouse button one and just unleashing a hail of death. An unending stream of death. It's awesome. <laughs> But I like that mech, so at the very least, we should be able to salvage the cannons. I hope. Oh, I hope. With my luck, we won't be able to salvage the mech. We won't be able to salvage the cannons. Or the ammo, even. Alright, just under 2 million Seabills. Oh, let's see if those things are open. Chain cannon ammo. Ooh, pirate double heat sink. I'll take that. Oh, but there's a lot of parts I could take. Longbows are really nice LRM boats. They're... they're uh, I find them a almost like a little brother to the stalker. I don't know if I want to take a longbow this time around. Right now. Oh jeez. Four auto cannon tens, four medium lasers. Oh. Wow. Okay, well that's all I can take then. Much as I'd like to take that, I don't think I need, especially now with one down. Oh. Okay, annihilator parts it is. Oh. Ow. Repairal? Oh, the chain cannon was still alive! Okay, my chem laser is down, we gotta fix that. And I've got a medium laser down, we gotta fix that. Oh! There we go. So our chem laser damage went down just a tad. Three to two, but I beefed these up, so it should. I don't. What what's going on here? CC ammo has missing requirement. Revert. Peril. Yeah, why is it saying this? I don't understand. Like, obviously it worked before because I, I could start the work. Take out the cam laser. Put the cam laser. Well, this sucks. This sucks large. What? Why is this doing this? Okay, we can repair him. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. All right, we're, uh... Oh, we did finish that. Okay. So bow and arrow it is. Um, 
Oh, there it is. I knew there was another part of that. Star map. We'll go here. But I think first... I'm going to go to an industrial hub and, and see if we can do something about the Warhammer. Because if I can't fix that, that really sucks. I don't understand what's going on here. Buy laser, finery laser. Those are good. A lot of heat. No, I don't have enough for that. Light naval PPC. 20 tons, 50 damage. Heat, 38 cheese. Optimal range, 1200 meters. <laughs> okay. Oops, oh, I'll always buy double heat sinks. Interlinked myomer. Flexible, uh... Right. Okay. 0.75 tons, but gives you better acceleration and resilience, eh. Okay, now, we might as well fix this while we're at it. Apparel. Do I have an XL engine? No, I don't. Damn. I don't even have a good engine. 355 is the best I can do for this thing. Okay, we don't want flamers. Do not care about flamers. Uh, oh, no, that's going to go on um, uh, something with missiles or extremely long range. Okay, why am I over tonnage? after taking stuff off. Revert. 375 was in, oh, because of the XL, right. They're all, drop that, drop that. Okay, get rid of the flamers. We want to put more medium lasers in there. Best ones in the torso. Oh, actually. Do I want to do that? It's a 75 tonner. No. I'm just going to keep it at level 1 weapons right now until I get better ones. Now I need... Uh, oh. Endo. And we need cooling. And that's that. So, double heat sinks. And a couple of heat banks. Oh, just one. Do we have any more? Eh. I don't like either of those. We're already over tonnage by a ton and a half. I do want the AMS. AMS is really nice to have. Our leg armor is already low. But I can't stir. Oh, because I'm over tonnage. Okay. Uh, I take this out. 
I'm going to st start the work for now. And then when we get an extra large engine, possibly, we'll stick it in here. It's a decent mech to have, but since we already have a Black Knight, it's not a must-have right now. Now, Warhammer. Apparel, let's... Okay. So I take those two bins out and the ammo is fine. Missing requirement. This makes no sense. Yeah, we've got slots. We've got weight. Why is this not... This is weird because I did not... I haven't updated this mod since the last video. I don't understand what's going on here. Alright, you know what? I'll figure that out later. We'll use our other mechs for now. And we are going to... Oh, excuse me. My toes wants to run up. We are going to continue on with this mission. That's so bizarre. I mean, it's obviously a bug. Alright. Let's do this. Demolition. We will take all the 48 salvage. Nice. The sensors are okay, close with him. And your visibility on this mission oh. will be compromised as well. God, that really sucks. It's my favorite mech. Um, wait a sec. Wait a sec, wait a sec. No, I don't have it. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna play the Black Knight. She's decent with the, the with the fang, with the dragon. This is a great backup mech. There is no reason not to take this, unless we got someone better for missiles. No. And then you can take Jaeger mech. I can't help but feeling because of the, the tonnage that it shows is available to us. I just, I can't help but feel that I'm wildly under tonnage. And then we play the mission and it's fine, generally. I still can't believe I got one of my arms blown off on that uh, Warhammer. I don't understand what's going on. Can't wait until we can get an atlas. I am not sure what else could carry it. Be an atlas with an arrow. Oh. Once we get that, it'll never leave our lands. SWL troops who've attempted to orchestrate this scheme to spark all out war with House Liao. All right, here we go. We've been given the green light to level their base and put a stop to their plot. Here we go for walking simulator. It's kind of nice though, you can see that mark, that icon on the map to the right of the base. That indicates a body of water. With this build, if it weren't for the fact that we have to go demolish the base, I could lure everything out to me and just fire my lasers non-stop, like as fast as they'll cycle without ever overheating, because you just stand in the water and it cools you. Oh, 
That bug with the Warhammer is really bothering me. Um, what I'll do, guys, is... I'm going to save this on a, a separate save game, but... Um, if on a reload, I still have that problem of... I can't figure out what that bug is. I'm going to reload the last save I made after the last video and see if it's still doing it then. And if not, then I will redo these missions that we've done and just jump in there. So nothing will have changed. We'll still have the same mechs and all that. A Jenner with a large laser. That's such a bizarre concept. Alright. Yeah, we gotta destroy this base. There's your target objective, Commander. Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? Target destroyed. Target acquired. Shared targets identified. Eagles missed. I'm getting crew warnings. Ejecting. New target blocked. Product commander. No, 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 no. Target acquired. Take out the little dude in your midst, folks. Alright, we got this guy. I do like how much faster the uh, uh, pulse laser pulse laser cycle compared to the large laser. They seem to be a lot quicker. Of course, the large laser fires longer. Oh, let's go get a thunderbolt. See if we can leg him. It's a 65 ton mech. It's smaller than what we have right now, but it's actually quite a good one. They're a little wide on the profile, but uh, I've always found having one to be useful. She's spice, everybody. You're almost there, Commander. Only 25% of this area remains. Oh, I thought I'd be able to walk through that part. Smashing through the snow. There is a Hunchback 4J. That's a decent mech. What is that? There we are. We're done. Hey, what the hell was that? Guys, get out of my way. It is a Wyvern. I keep forgetting that I have an uh, Alpha Strike button set up. I'm going quick. I can't do anymore. I have to bail. Target destroyed. Oh, he's trying to go for the head. Hey guys, watch this shot. Target 
And what do we got there? Time to punch out. Man, it sucks that we didn't get any more chain cannons at the end of that last mission. Makes me wonder if I should have actually taken that bin of ammo to see if it worked properly or not. I don't know, folks. I, I don't understand uh, what's going on. If it was any other mech, it wouldn't be bothering me that much. <laughs> All right, what parts do we have? Nothing all that good other than this SRM2, which I'm never going to use. I'll take an SRM6 tier 4, thank you. I could take the parts to build a wyvern and sell it, sure, why not? There we go. I'm going to be able to build a Thunderbolt. And another Hunchback. Sure. Why not? And we get another Orion. Nice. Two SRM4s, two medium lasers, and an AC-10. It's not bad. Certainly can't hurt to use it for a while. Give it to an AI. Uh, we're going to put the Shadowhawk in cold storage. Actually, I'm going to put him in the cold storage for now. I think I might start stripping some of my smaller mechs. No. No, I don't want to do that. I'll just keep updating mechs as I get them. Ah, oh, I thought he was cool, yeah. I don't remember if I get a mech at the end of that mission. It's a decent one, though. It's a fun one. Uh, we have all the Cantina missions we need. Barracks. Nothing. Oh, excuse me, folks. Equipment. Oh, blind special ammo. Okay, no. No. Yeah, we're still too early on. Gotta start traveling around a bit more, advancing that timeline. So that's exactly what we're going to do, and we're going to head to the Thaddeus Cole Bringer Home mission. So first we'll head to here, do some repairs on our mech. We might be able to build the other one now, too. <gasps> oh! I want... I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Our whole deal, folks, has been getting Hero Max. Six lasers, AMS, jump jets, double heat sink. Yeah. I want this. But we are nowhere near enough C bills, so we can start selling some mix, I think. Excuse me. Okay, this is your basic thing. We're going to sell that. Two million. I want to keep the Kikeda. Because there are going to be times when I have to do a recon mission. And this is just 132 speed with five medium lasers, so it can do some damage. Yeah, I'm going to keep it around. Now the question is... I think I'm going to strip these mechs and keep their gear. Confirm, confirm. I'm not going to use them anymore. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So, let's take some stuff out of these. There's our XL engine. AC5 can go, but we'll keep the ammo. Start work 17 days. 
What works? Yeah. Keep the lasers. Other M10. Double heat sink. Heat sink kit. I got more than enough improved sensors. There we go. 13 days. All right, we're gonna advance the timeline just a bit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I want to keep. I want to keep the hunchbacks, because it will come a point too where you end up doing lower tier missions as well, especially if you're following the campaigns. I mean, to be fair, once we hit 90 and 100 ton mechs across the board, that's probably where we're going to stay because there's a lot of action. So, I think I'm going to drop this one. And I'll keep this one. Yeah, alright, we're gonna strip some parts off of him too. AC5, XL engine, doubles. Yep, good enough. Okay. I think I might drop the champion too. Now that I've got a Dragon, 60 tonner, I've got 75 tonners, I'm not likely to use this again, they, they tend to be a bit weak, so I'm also going to strip him, I want this catapult, <laughs> as you can tell, take the structure, I want the short burst lasers, the limo, I'll take the engine core too, yeah, 36 days for that, okay, so, let us advance the timeline. Okay. Oh, 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 not yet. Don't want to pay those dues just yet. Okay, so we're going to sell this mech. We're going to sell this mech. This one and this one, and we have enough to buy a new hero mech. That paint scheme is terrible, but this is the catapult jester. All right, let's pick this up and take a look at it. Check this out. So we got weak head armor, head bonus minus three, it is what it is. Nimble jumper, so it has better jump jets. Missile platform, uh, lock on time minus 20, heat generation minus 10. Ubiquitous, so minus 50 to re uh, repair costs. Minus 67% to upkeep. Enhanced hard points for the, the weapon damage. Oh, nice. Damage plus 10, optimal range plus 20, max range plus 20. Jester. Plus 10 across the board for armor structure, jump jet acceleration, and holy crap. Large laser cooldown modifier. Large laser heat generation, excuse me, plus 60, plus 50 damage. But minus 4, so it turns large lasers into short, short beam lasers. Nice. Much quicker cycle times at the cost of damage. So medium and shorts on this become, or er, smalls become uh, short bursts. Oh, this is dope. Okay, I want this. Small laser gone. I want the jump jets gone. I want medium lasers on this thing. I've got level one medium lasers. Holy crap. And I might take these out for the extended range. Our cooling is ass, though. <laughs> Dual AMS. Wow, okay. 73% uh, projected max speed. 
Okay. I think we might just leave it at this. Although I wish you could have more cooling. What about... Got a double heat sink kit, but a royal... Let's take out this out and put a royal in and see what happens. That's better. That's better. Okay, we'll do that. 28 days. And we got a new hero mech, folks. This this paint job's got to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's take him. Paint mech. There we go. I mean, it could look cooler than that, but we are going to have fun with this, I think. And yeah, a brawler is definitely definitely the way to go with this. Normally, I get a, a catapult and set it up for the range. But with these perks, yeah, we got to try this. Missile platform. It doesn't have missiles. Oh, that's just because a catapult is a missile platform in general. Okay, well, in any case, we'll do our repairs and any refits and whatnot in the next episode. We're going to call it quits on that one. Again, I'm going to take a look at the prior episode, see if we can figure this bug out with the Warhammer. And if not, we'll pick up where we left off here and I don't know. But, uh, or I will reload the save from the last video replay these missions and see if that happens again or if not and if not we'll pick up I'll, I'll pick up from there we should still have the same stuff i hope especially now that we got a new hero mac <laughs> so in any case i hope you enjoyed this episode give me a thumbs up if you did if not a thumbs down let me know your thoughts in the comments and until next time i've been rage at games take it easy